Welcome back to Active Duty Outdoors. We are back out here at Two Georges Marina, going back out with Shark Quest Dive Shop. We are gonna go hit the Phoenix Barge. The barge is just a cool place. Probably got some line fish on. We're gonna go check it out. Welcome back to being below the surface of the water. Today we're diving on the Phoenix Barge and this thing is loaded with lionfish. I'm getting a little bit better at it, but I'm still not perfect. Still a work in progress. First lionfish, swing and a miss. Now after that miss, I'm just swimming around trying to find something else. Crikey, look at the size of this stingray. That thing's gotta be 20 feet long. I'm going this way. I remember Steve Irwin and I ain't going out like that. I love you, Steve, but I got other stuff to do. Now while we're looking around for these lionfish, I'm going to tell you a little bit about them. So they are an invasive species, which have believed to be introduced into our waters in the late 1980s. By aquarium owners with the best intentions, wanted to get rid of the lionfish, but didn't want to flush them down the toilet. So a better place to put them back in the ocean. Unfortunately, these lionfish weren't native to the our waters, and now they're taken over because they have no natural predators. With 18 venomous spines, nothing dares eat them. Not even the sharks would touch them. Yet, that is, there have been studies where they're trying to get sharks to like them and acquire a taste for them. Here we go, here's a couple more. Will I get them? Ooh, God, swing and a miss. They say that these things are uh, easy to get and they're dumb. Maybe I'm just not smart enough to get them. Here we go. Ah. Oh, shoot. Get him, my zookeeper. Take that one home. Like I was saying, they have 18 venomous spines, 13 up top, two of them on their peck fins, one on each side. And then another three in their anal fin. And they ain't no joke. If you accidentally get pricked by one of those things, you're gonna be hurting for a while. Here we go. Got him. Come on, get him, my zookeeper. If you guys stick around till the end of the video, I'll show you guys how I clean them where you don't have to worry about getting pricked by one of their little uh, venomous spines. So watch it at the end, it's pretty cool. It's a very easy way to do it, and these fish are tasty. Don't think that they're poisonous fish just because they have venomous spines. You get rid of those venomous spines and they got some really nice white fillets. What makes these lionfish so invasive, other than not having any natural predators, is the fact that a mature female will lay 50,000 eggs every three days for the rest of her life. And that mass of eggs will get in the Gulf current and they'll float around until they find reefs wrecks or other structures where they can kind of mature until they hatch and then there you go you have 50,000 new lionfish oh I'm gonna reach in here I'm gonna get this one come on got him get him my zookeeper you guys don't forget leave me a comment below it helps out the algorithm come on now look at all these guys whenever you're looking inside the structure always remember to look up because that's where they're gonna be hanging out up underneath tucked away my pole spear is six feet long so it's kind of hard to finagle in through this uh, crack that's why sometimes it's nice having a smaller spear get in my zookeeper all right so they're good to eat there's an abundance of them so why do we care well, i'll tell you they're known to eat up to 70 different species of local fish so your Nassau grouper, your yellowtail snapper, your coral shrimp, and most importantly, the reef cleaner species. So those little tiny fish that are always kind of working to keep the coral clean, yep, they're eating those ones too. And without those cleaner species, the reefs suffer because they don't have anything to eat the algae and the algae grows and the coral dies. And that's not good for us. And a little unknown fact, our lesser known fact about coral is that we use a lot of this coral for our medical research for a lot of the medicine that we get. So not only is it cool for the fish to live on and for us to look at, but it serves us a medical purpose on land. And that's pretty dang important. 
All right, the Phoenix Barge. It's a pretty legit sight. I think to the sand, I was at 78 feet. To the, I don't know, the, the deck of it, I was probably about 65. So it's a, a good recreational site. It's not too far outside of the Destin Pass. And if you're looking just to come out to find some lionfish or maybe drop a jig or two, this place is pretty awesome. I'll leave my dive profile at the end of the video as well so you can kind of see exactly my depth as I was swimming through. And I'm just circling it, trying to see if any more lionfish pop out, the ones that I missed. Maybe I could find them again, get another chance. And there is a Goliath grouper that hangs out on this wreck too. I don't know if I got him on video, but I had caught just his tail as he was kind of passing through some of these cutouts. Oh, there's another one. Reach that six foot pole in. Got him. Come on out and get my zookeeper. Just kidding, he got off. Hey, if you guys like this content, leave me a comment below and let me know what you like about it. Every comment helps the YouTube algorithm. And every like also helps the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe so every time I upload a video, you guys know it. And you guys get to see it first. The next video I'm going to have is the next dive of this trip. Where I'm spearing some flounder. And oh yeah, we got quite a few of them. So you won't want to miss that one. It's on the Miss Louise. Another wreck on the shipwreck trail. Alright, so right here, there's a Goliath. I did catch just a piece of him. Supposedly, he's a resident of this wreck. A lot of divers report seeing him, so that's kind of cool that we got to see him. I like seeing those guys. Alright, I'm going up. And as I'm going up, we're treated with a bunch of Amoco Jacks. Check them out. Just circling us. could have easily speared a couple of these and threw in my zookeeper as well, but I had enough fish for the day. All right, welcome back to the house. I got the lionfish on the table. I'm gonna show you guys how I get rid of those venomous spines before I clean them and then how I clean them. It's very easy after you get rid of those spines. So let's get to it. So the lionfish have 18 total venomous spines, 13 along his dorsal spine or his dorsal fins two additional venomous spines along his pectoral fins and then another three down here on his anal fin so i'm going to show you guys how you get rid of those we'll discard those and then we'll get to cleaning the fish which is a very simple easy process after that all right so the easiest way to get rid of those fins you can touch this guy in his mouth he's got kind of a jagged cheekbones a lot of people think that that's venomous too but that's not it's just real jagged so we're going to grab this guy flip them over what I do is I take a pair of scissors and I just get rid of them all together so I come in down through here on his pec fins and I just cut those spines right off there you go there's there's some of his venomous spines and then I have an old coffee can that I throw them into and then I'll take these ones and get rid of these ones as well so he's got that sharp little spine right there I don't know if you guys can see that or not but that thing will get you. So we'll take that one off. Come over here to this side. We'll take them off here as well. Get rid of his anal fins. Come through. Just snip all that stuff off. Grab those, those in there. And come along to his dorsal fin. I'm just going to cut it all off. Get rid of it all. All right, so there in my little bin. I'll close this up and I'll freeze it until my trash can comes and then we'll be done with it. All right, so that part was easy. This part is also easy, just like filleting a perch or a walleye for you northern guys. And then any other fish, I usually just come down right behind that peck pin 
go up in an angle cut and then I just bend my knife and then go down along the spine you now see yourself a cheap board cut off just like that come back in through here take out those there's that rib cage. And this one take out the rib cage. And there you go. Alright, so as you guys see, it's a real simple process to clean out the lionfish. Just get rid of all those poisonous fins, cut them off with some scissors, or you can clean around them. You just gotta be super careful. Dispose of them, throw them in an old coffee can, lock it up, keep it away from your pets. And um, then you just fillet it out. It's super simple fish to clean. And might I add, they taste pretty dang good. So, well, thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit the like, hit the subscribe.